Hi guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem that is to compute a modulus division by a power of two number. The problem says that we have two integers n and d and we need to efficiently compute n modulo d without using division and modulo operators and given the fact that d is a power of 2. For example, take n equal to 14 and then we have d equal to 8. Now 8 represents the third power of 2. So the answer is the 14 modulo 8 which is equal to 6. Now how can we solve the given problem efficiently? The solution to the given problem is quite a simple one. I suggest you to try it yourself first and then move forward. Let's proceed with the example. Here in the example, if you can see, 8 has only a single set bit and the solution is the integer formed from the bits which are at right of this bit in the given integer 14. So the solution is 6 in this case. Moreover, any power of 2 number will have only one bit as set. Now if that bit is the ith bit from the right, then n modulo d would be the integer formed from 0 to i minus 1 bits in the given integer n. Again, the question arises, how can we do that? The solution says we need to take the bitwise end operation between the given integer n and d minus 1. We subtracted 1 from d because if d has the ith bit as set, then d minus 1 has ith bit as 0 with all bit positions from 0 to i minus 1 as set. Let's take the same example again. Here the bitwise end operation between n which is equal to 14 and d minus 1 which is equal to 7 gives the solution equal to 6. That is same as that being shown earlier. Now going on for the implementation we have a function named get modulo which takes two integers n and d as the arguments where d is the power of 2. Now we just return the result of the bitwise end operation between n and d minus 1. As far as complexity of the approach is concerned, since here we can find the solution in the finite steps, hence we have the time complexity of the order of 1. Also, our space remains constant throughout. That's why we have the space complexity also as big O of 1. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please leave us your comments.